also I've thrown a cylindrical form tumbler that um, I don't need to uh, trim and I just thought I would show you how to use insets that are from Spriggs in a piece such as this. So I've marked my mug, the lip of it, in three spots. What I'm going to do is basically cut out a little like window section and once again I always kind of brace my hand so I can keep control of the tool and this is going to be my center point. So I'm going to just kind of um, eyeball it or freehand it and I'm going to move the tool to uh, alter the line. I'm going to do this hopefully equally around the form, picking up the X-Acto blade where there's a transition in the curve later. There you go. And the sprigs that I've cut out, I mean, I might have to trim, but in the meantime, I'm going to keep them curved on uh, foam. So they don't, you know, even 10, 15 minutes of sitting out, they're going to dry enough that they might not be able to be altered or move with the piece. So you can kind of mark these off where you're going to put that. And you can literally set this down, find center of that, and give it at least a um, quarter to about a half inch around the, the piece as a pattern. So now I've used the cutout as a pattern. It can be very general. And I'm going to have to score the inside. So you apply a slip. And you have to make sure that if this cup is a little too dry on the top, or this sprig is a little too dry, it's things will crack. And what I'm going to do is push it through this plane to give it a fullness. And give it some breath. There we go. And just adhere it. And then I'm wasting my hand a little bit. And I'm going to run my finger up the inside, kind of spreading this out and really getting it to attach. And I might have to press on the outside a little bit. so your hand doesn't distort the cup too much. Quite a while I made these insets and now I'm going to be making them out of the sprigs because it's just such a great way to introduce different surface. <laughs> and I always want the fullness of the form after this stiffens up. So tomorrow, I'm gonna to dry everything slowly because you have a lot of seams now. But tomorrow what I would do is literally go in and kind of thin this out with like a trimming tool or you can take a little metal rib. If you find that they, got a, they get a little too bulky right here for you, for your taste, you can just kind of uh, skim part of uh, like a, maybe an eighth of an inch of clay off just to thin it out some. So that's the way to use sprigs on functional objects used on a wheel.